Hello and welcome to Stamp with Angela. I'm Angela Palmer and today I'm going to show you some of the features in relation to the Stamparatus and in particular the hinge technique. So we're going to make this card here which is a happy birthday card and you'll see here the nice straight rows of the happy birthday stamp. And you can also do the same kind of thing by stamping something in a row like the heart as well. Alright, so a few little things about the Stamparatus before we get started. So your Stamparatus um, comes with a very strong magnet, I kind of have to slide it to get it off. It also comes with an extra mat like this. So if you are using the thinner stamps, the photopolymer, then you will need to use this. But since we're using rubber mount today, I don't need to use it. Now I do like to um, just protect my surface, so I've just got some grid sheets that I've cut up and made it to fit in there. And then also when you're putting your stamps and things on, it's quite nice. This will obviously sort of tip back a bit, but when you're inking it up, it's nice to be kind of level. So if you just put any stamp set case there, um, it's nice and level for stamping. All right, so let's get started and show you how to make this card. So I'm going to put my piece of card stock in here like this and hold it with my magnets. You really only need one. There are two. There are um, at the back here. One in here but you only need one and you don't want to get them too close together otherwise they will quickly draw together and possibly snap all right so there we go we've put our card piece in here so the stamp set i'm using for the happy birthday is this one here the perennial birthday and that's this big happy birthday stamp so what i need to do first is decide where i want to put it so i've got it face down about there all right nice and straight nice and even and then I'm going to push it into my ink pad, uh, onto my plate, so it's in the right place. Then I'm going to get my ink. So the ink that I'm using is the new in colour blueberry bushel. So I'm going to ink up my stamp like so, and stamp. You still need a bit of pressure to push it down. All right. Now I then want the same colour, nice and dark again. So I'm going to ink up my stamp. This time, if I try and lift this up, it won't come out. But if I put it like this, um, then I can lift it up and move it down a hinge. And it's still nice and straight and I can stamp. Now on purpose, I'm not going to push very hard. And you, oh, it did actually stamp really well. <laughs> um, but if for some reason it doesn't stamp well and it misses bit or you didn't ink it up properly, that's fine. Just re-stamp it again. All right, I'm not going to re-ink it this time. I'm going to put it up like this again, move it down a hinge, and then I am going to stamp it with kind of, what do you call it, like um, stamping off. So it's a lighter colour, so I'm trying to get this ombre effect. All right, then I'm going to stamp again. I want sort of that same, not too light, not too light too soon. So I'm going to ink it up, and I'm going to just stamp it onto a scrap piece of paper. And then I'm going to stamp that next layer onto here. Okay. Now I might just need to use my magnet for the last one. I don't need to re-ink. I just want that very light colour again. So move it down and stamp that last one. All right. So that gives you an ombre effect. You don't obviously need to get lighter in colour, but it shows how you can stamp that happy birthday nice and easily, all in a straight line, which is wonderful. Right, I'll put it back up there again. I'll just show you, let's just say I stamped my birth, happy birthday, but I didn't actually put all the ink on. Oops, sorry about that. And I stamped it and thought, oh no, I've done it wrong. That's okay. Just put ink where you need it and then stamp it again. Look at that, no problems at all. So if your stamping doesn't go so well, you've got it in the same place, you can re-ink it. All right. So to finish off this card, I'll move this out of the way for the moment, and then I'll show you the other hinge technique as well. So for this, I have used some of the Pop of Petals stamp set and punch. So I have that here. Okay, this one here. All right, so I've got some all ready to go, and I'm going to do it in the red so that the colour is lovely lipstick and then the color that's been around for a while old olive now if you have a look at this punch you will notice that some of the petals are a little bit of a different shape 
So I've kind of figured out which way they fit and then my black dot is going to go up the top which will fit in nicely when it gets punched out. So the best thing I find is I get a nice strip of cardstock and I off top made I think it's four centimeters wide and I need two flowers per flower. I'm going to use some different ones to what I used last time just so you can see how they look. All right so remember that black mark is something I have marked on them so I'll do two of those each and then we will do two green. So if I make this one yes we'll need this is quite a bit lighter. There we go. All right, so then punching it out, turn it over, and I'll start with the red one first. Put it in and punch them all out. All right, nearly there. And my green ones as well, the old olive. Okay. All right, so now to put it all together, all upside down. Don't know if you can tell, but they kind of curl up just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is get my bone folder and just curl them slightly. So I tended to turn them upside down and just curl them like this. So can you kind of see how they curl upwards? And if I do one more... You could have the bottom one flat and the top one curling up, or you can curl them both up to you. All right, so they'll be, and then when you put them together, you're putting them so the top one is kind of in the gaps of the second one like that. All right, I'll curl these and then show you what to do next. All right, so I'm back. So what I need to do is just adhere them together. So a dab of glue, that might actually be a little bit much, so we'll just share it around oops is it gonna stay you could put them together once they're on the card that may be a little bit easier okay all right so i have my flowers we'll put those aside so i've got my card base so that is the blueberry bushel as well and my stamped piece, so I'm just going to, whoops, adhere that on the front. Like so. Now with my flowers, often I'll put kind of, you know, top and bottom, like that, which you could do. But then I kind of felt it um, had the first happy birthday, so that's why I put it further down. But, you know, you can still see happy birthday there, so maybe I'll try that arrangement this time, see what it looks like. So just keep it inside the card so that it'll fit in the envelope. There we go. And then maybe those two, a little bit of sparkle would look quite nice. So I've got some of these, some rhinestones. Just using my paper piercing tool, put that in like so. Uh, another one. I might just leave the middle one blank. Here we go. It's a slight variation. But you can see how the Stamparatus makes stamping in a straight line so easy. Now I'll show you how you can do it the other way as well. So going across ways. So I'll bring back in my Stamparatus. Take that off. All right, so before, I'll just show you again. I had my hinge here. And I was moving it downwards. This time I'm going to use the one at the top and I'm going to move it, sorry you can see my hands, but lift it up and move it that way along. All right so my piece of cardstock for the hearts and what I can do is put a, uh, what do you call it, a stamp pad there. All right. All right, so I'm going to put this in here. Now, you don't always have to do the ombre effect, but that seems to be what I like doing at the moment. So what I actually did was stamp this first 
and then go one way and then the other. So I'm going to put it in the middle. So that is the middle. So beforehand I kind of worked halfway, placed my stamp on. So we're going to ink that up and stamp firmly in the middle and then I will go this way. Quite a light colour there. How's that? See that? Then I want to go the other way, so I'm going to have to ink it up again. But this time I will stamp it on a scrap piece. All right, now we might just need to move our magnet over here. And I'll bring it along to this side. Stamped off it's a little bit darker this time, but that's okay. There we go. If I wanted to make that one a little bit darker, I could even go back and just see if I can make it a bit darker to match a bit more. You know, you can play around. Um, yeah, but there you go. So with the two plates, you can hinge stamp by doing something in a row and moving this way, or you can do something in a row by moving downwards like Happy Birthday and using this hinge. So I love my Stamparatus. It's great for things like this. There's so many other benefits of it too, but we'll just um, show you this one today. So thanks for watching. And if you would like to order a Stamparatus, please um, contact me or buy it through my um, online store. Thanks for watching. Bye.